Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Boy return, returning to the sheds very soon. First, Thomas T. Boy about being slithered into a pit. Then, Thomas fell down a mine tunnel. And Gordon had to come to his help. Remember, said Gordon, we'll form an alliance. I'll help you and you'll help me. I'm trying to remember that, said Thomas. We didn't notice it. That's it. Soon they reached Timmy's shed, where all the answers were there. Suddenly, lights were on. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. What's going on? We're the Queen's coming, said Percy. One of us is supposed to pull her. Who? asked Thomas. Maybe I should, said James. I'm a disgrace, said Gordon. You wouldn't choose me. I'll do it, said Emily, but no one did. Sure enough, it was too sick of Molly. A painter was paint the new the new coal loader from Stafford with two two boxes of freight. Two tuna molly was was getting some coal, waste steam, and the painter couldn't see. My eyes, he cried. It burns. Then he fell down into one of two tuna molly's coal, coal tenders into the coal, and the paint spluttered all over his, his cab. Sir Top Hat was cross. You look a nice case, he said. That'll never do. I'll have to get bored. And he left. Born to attend the Molly thought it was a bad idea. But in fact, it was. At the shunting yards, it was quiet. Thomas and Gordon were very pleased to see Sir Thomas Hatt. Wait for a blazer. One time, said Sir Thomas Hatt. May Gordon pull coaches again, sir? asked Thomas. Did Thomas have his grandchild again, sir? asked Gordon. I know you've been waiting, said Sir Thomas. And I've decided to give you a fair chance. Hooray, cried Thomas. Hooray, cried Gordon. They steamed off to their work. Thomas shut the, the coaches into the right place. Backwards and forwards he went. Backwards and forwards he went. Da, 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 da. He shunted the coaches in. The engines puffed backwards and forwards. Da, da, da. Even Thomas shunted his own coaches in. Important at 